Hello everyone, I'm Daniel Chen, one of the lead artists at Natis working on the Harry Potter Magic Awakened, a collectible card role-playing game where players can attend Hogwarts, learn to master magic, and participate in thrilling residuals. We want the players to feel like they were reading the original books while playing Harry Potter Magic Awakened. There is already so many existing art production styles in the games industry, but we thought, why not try something new? Something unlike anything else that was on the market. I distinctly remember my first time watching the films and seeing the scenes of Professor McGonagall leading a group of first years into the Great Hall. The floating candles and enchanted ceiling impact me greatly. It gave me a sense of warmth, elegance, mystery, and of course, magic. I resort to imbue this same feeling into Harry Potter Magic Awakened. It was very important for us to do right by the fans and deliver a truly authentic Harry Potter experience in our game. Our game art is inspired by the films, but also more widely draws inspiration from canon as well. So we imagine what the art would look like if we were to illustrate the books. And so our unique picture book style was born. We've combined a Western illustration style with a strong hand painting brush shows, the rough texture of parchment paper, and a gentle palette to give the game a painterly aesthetic. We also focus on using lights to convey emotions. For example, the lights on ragged characters like Fernio Greyback can be bolder, while graceful characters like McGonagall can be portrayed more neatly and delicately. All of these elements ladder into our character design. For example, Voldemort was considered to have been the most powerful and dangerous dark wizard of all time. So we took inspiration from the films and emphasized his pale white skin with exaggerated snake-like nostrils. We also included our own interpretation by adding some spike shape to his finger and warm to further demonstrate his dangerous character. The trailing ribbons and stylized shape of his robes make him look even more fearsome and threatening. Lighting is also one of the important ways to express a character's emotions and personality. Good lighting can better convey the story and be more immersive for players as well. The character lighting in Harry Potter Magic Awaken is a relatively simple, tuneless shader that divides the light into the three areas, the rim light, the key light, and the ambient light. In our style, the rim light is always the brightest, I would have to say my favorite demonstration of our picture book art style is the design of the collectible cards themselves, which is also the central gameplay elements in Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Each of our cards has an interactive easter egg related to the original books. Some are visual and some are auditory. The main purpose is to surprise players when they check these cards, so be sure to watch for those. We also have a well-crafted card story video for each legendary card. Overall, it took us more than half a year just to establish the art style of Harry Potter Magic Awakened and figure out what kind of visual was suitable for this IP. We wanted to respect the original identity of Harry Potter so that players could immerse themselves in our game's resident role. There was a lot of attention to detail that went into developing a beautiful art style of Harry Potter Magic Awakened. We are looking forward to welcoming more players to this incredible game.